Where does Kurt Warner's Super Bowl performance rank all time? Arizona Cardinals quarterback Kurt Warner nearly won Super Bowl XLI. Where does his performance rank? Las Vegas another Super Bowl is set to commence in roughly 24 hours as the Kansas City Chiefs battle the San Francisco 49ers in Super Bowl of EI here in Sin City. Respective quarterbacks in Patrick Mahomes and Brock Purdy will try their best to win their team to victory, and a legendary performance would likely see their name engraved in a Super Bowl ring in just a few months' time. Before we approach kickoff, Sports Illustrated recently revealed the top 25 quarterback performances in Super Bowl history, and Kurt Warner's performance with the Arizona Cardinals in Super Bowl XLI against the Pittsburgh Steelers came in at no. 18. While Roethlisberger was facing a mediocre Arizona defense, the 37-year-old Warner was going up against a Pittsburgh unit that led the NFL in fewest points and yards allowed. Nevertheless, Warner completed 31 of 43 for 377 yards and three touchdowns. It could have been four touchdowns Warner drove the Cardinals to the Pittsburgh one-yard line with 18 seconds left in the first half, but his pass to Anquan Bolden was intercepted by James Harrison. Not scoring there was tough, but it wouldn't have been so devastating except for the fact that Harrison remarkably rumbled his way 100 yards for the most improbable pick six in NFL history, said Craig Ellenport. Considering Warner's dominance in the second half of that game, it's safe to say that had Harrison not scored on that play, Warner and the Cardinals would have been champions. The Cardinals nearly won their first Super Bowl that night, though the Steelers drove down a field and ultimately scored the game-winning touchdown. That wasn't the only Super Bowl performance of Warner's to land on the list, as his greatest show on turf ring with the Rams finished at no. 6 in the rankings. Now that he's in the Hall of Fame, it's easy to forget that Warner entered the 1999 NFL season as a little-known backup and undrafted quarterback from Northern Iowa who only got the job because free agent acquisition Trent Green went down with a preseason knee injury and the Rams didn't have an experienced no, too, wrote Ellen Port. All Warner did was lead the greatest show on turf offense, earning league MVP honors and then backing it up with a record-breaking Super Bowl. Not only did Warner set a new Super Bowl record with 414 passing yards, his second TD pass of the game was a 73-yard bomb to Isaac Bruce that broke a 16-16 tie with less than two minutes left to play. Six times Super it took last second heroics in both halves of Super Bowl XLI for the Steelers to make history and become the first NFL franchise to win six Super Bowl championships. The Steelers were holding on to a 10-7 lead near the end of a first half when the Cardinals' Carl Ostanspe intercepted a tip Ben Roethlisberger pass at the Steelers' 33-yard line. Cardinals quarterback Kurt Warner moved his team into scoring position with completions to Tim Hightower, Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden. With the ball at the one-yard line and just 18 seconds to play in the half, the Cardinals were anticipating Lawrence Timmons and James Harrison blitzing but Harrison gambled and dropped back in coverage and intercepted Warner's pass at the goal line. What happened after that, nobody could ever have expected. Harrison headed up the sideline, following his blockers and evading would-be tacklers for a 100-yard touchdown return and 17-7 Steelers lead going into the half. I got the pick, said Harrison after the game. You know we had them matched up and it was kind of like, give it time, and I slid over to the right, and he threw it right to my hands, and I took off. I was just trying to get to the other side and score seven. It was about my teammates helping me get to the other end. Will and determination to try and do what you need to do and help the team win the game. It was very tiring, but it was all worth it. I was just thinking that I had to do whatever I could to get to the other end zone and get seven. I just wanted to help my team win. That was it. That was all I was thinking about. The Steelers added a third-quarter field goal for a 20-7 lead, but the Cardinals mounted a major fourth-quarter comeback. Warner connected with Fitzgerald for a one-yard touchdown to bring the Cardinals within a score at 20-14. Things continued to go in the Cardinals' favor when they pinned the Steelers back at their own one-yard line. On third down, center Justin Hardwick was called for holding in the end zone, resulting in a safety to close the gap to 20-16. The Cardinals got the ball right back and scored in just seconds when Fitzgerald caught a 64-yard touchdown pass from Warner, taking their first lead of the game. 
23 minus 20. The odds were stacked against them, but the Steelers weren't going to be denied. With just 2.30 remaining on the clock, Roethlisberger took control, completing four passes for 78 yards, including a 40-yarder to Santonio Holmes, to give the Steelers the ball at the six-yard line. With time ticking away, Roethlisberger found Holmes in the corner of the end zone where he remarkably managed to keep both feet in bounds for the 27-23 lead. I said to Ben that I wanted to be the guy that made the plays for this team, said Holmes post-game. I wanted to continue to be great and great players step up in big-time games and make great plays.